Pope Leo VIII died the 1st of March 965 was pope from the 23rd of June 964 to his death in 965 before that he was an antipope from 963 to 964 in opposition to Pope John XII and Pope Benedict V an appointee of the Holy Roman Emperor Otto I his pontificate occurred during the period known as the Seculum Obscurum Topic <inaudible> Biography <inaudible> Topic. Born in Rome in the region around the Clivus Argentarius, Leo was the son of John who held the office of protonotary, and a member of an illustrious noble family. Although a layperson, he was the protoscriniarius or superintendent of the Roman public schools for scribes in the papal court during the pontificate of John XII. In 963 he was included in a party that was sent by John to the Holy Roman Emperor, Otto I, who was besieging the King of Italy, Berengar II at the castle of St. Leo in Umbria. His instructions were to reassure the Emperor that the Pope was determined to correct the abuses of the Papal Court, as well as protesting about Otto actions in demanding that cities in the Papal States take an oath of fidelity to the Emperor instead of the Pope. By the time Otto entered Rome to depose John, Leo had been appointed protonotary to the Apostolic See. A synod convened by the Emperor uncanonically deposed John who had fled to Tiber and proceeded to elect Leo, who was the Emperor. S. nominee, as Pope on 4 December 963, although as he was still a layman. In the space of a day Leo was ordained ostiarius, lector, acolyte, subdeacon, deacon and priest by Sico, the cardinal bishop of Ostia, who then proceeded to consecrate him as bishop on 6 December 963. The deposed John, however, still had a large body of sympathizers within Rome. He offered large bribes to the Roman nobility if they would rise up and overthrow Otto and kill Leo, and so, in early January 964, the Roman people staged an uprising that was quickly put down by Otto's troops. Leo, hoping to reach out to the Roman nobility, persuaded Otto to release the hostages he had taken from the leading Roman families in exchange for their continued good behavior. However, once Otto left Rome around 12 January 964, the Romans again rebelled, and caused Leo to flee Rome and take refuge with Otto sometime in February 964. John XII returned, and in February convened a synod which in turn deposed Leo on 26 February 964, with John excommunicating Leo in the process. Leo remained with Otto, and, with the death of John XII in May 964, the Romans elected Pope Benedict V. Otto proceeded to besiege Rome, taking Leo with him, and when the Romans eventually surrendered to Otto, Leo was reinstalled in the Lateran Palace as Pope. Together with Benedict's clerical and lay supporters, and clad in his pontifical robes, the former Pope was then brought before Leo, who asked him how Benedict dared to assume the chair of St. Peter while he was still alive. Benedict responded, If I have sinned, have mercy on me. Having received a promise from the emperor that his life would be spared if he submitted, Benedict threw himself at Leo's feet and acknowledged his guilt. Brought before a synod convened by Leo, Benedict's ordination as bishop was revoked, his pallium was torn from him, and his pastoral staff was broken over him by Leo. However, through the intercession of Otto, Benedict was allowed to retain the rank of deacon. Then, after having the Roman nobility swear an oath over the tomb of St. Peter to obey and be faithful to Leo, Otto departed Rome in late June 964, having been cowed by Otto, the remainder of Leo's pontificate was reasonably trouble-free. He issued numerous bulls, many of which detailed the granting of privileges to Otto and his successors. Some of the bulls were alleged to grant the German emperors the right of choosing their successors in the Kingdom of Italy and the right to nominate the Pope, and all popes, archbishops and bishops were to receive investiture from the emperor. In addition, Leo is also claimed to have relinquished to Otto all the territory of the Papal States that had been granted to the Apostolic See by Pepin the Short and Charlemagne. Although it is certain that Leo granted various concessions to his imperial patron, it is now believed that the investiture Bulls associated with Leo were, if not completely fabricated during the investiture controversy, at the very least so tampered with that it is now largely impossible to reconstruct them in their original form. Leo VIII died on 1 March 965, and was succeeded by Pope John XIII. According to the Liber Pontificalis, he was described as venerable, energetic and honorable. 
He had a number of streets dedicated to him in and around the Clivus Argentarius, including the Decensus Leonis Prothi. Status as Pope Although Leo was for many years considered an antipope, his current status is still a source of confusion. The Annuario Pontificio makes the following point about the pontificate of Leo VIII. At this point, as again in the mid-11th century, we come across elections in which problems of harmonizing historical criteria and those of theology and canon law make it impossible to decide clearly which side possessed the legitimacy whose factual existence guarantees the unbroken lawful succession of the successors of St. Peter. The uncertainty that in some cases results has made it advisable to abandon the assignation of successive numbers in the list of the popes. Due to Leo's uncanonical election, it is now accepted that, until the deposition of Benedict V, he was almost certainly an antipope. Further, although the deposition of John XII was invalid, the election of Benedict V certainly was canonical. However, if Lutprand of Cremona who chronicled the events of this period can be relied upon, if, as he wrote, Benedict did acquiesce to his deposition, and if, as seems certain, no further protest was made against Leo's position, it has been the consensus of historians that he may be regarded as a true pope from July 964 to his death in 965. The fact that the next pope to assume the name Leo was consecrated Leo IX also seems to indicate that he is a true pope. References Gregorovius, Ferdinand, The History of Rome in the Middle Ages, Vol. 3 1895 Mann, Horace K., The Lives of the Popes in the Early Middle Ages, Vol. IV, The Popes in the Days of Feudal Anarchy, 891–999 McBrien, Richard P. 2000. Lives of the Popes, The Pontiffs from St. Peter to Benedict XVI. HarperCollins. Notes External links Topic. Opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Latina with analytical indexes